Mm. Hello, getting caught up on doing video requests. So here we are from Daft Bugger. I know Daft Bugger. Big ol' requester. Hey Kyle, can you please do a video on the topic of circumcision? Do you feel that people are robbed of sensory pleasures when this procedure is performed on babies? People can't know what they are missing if part of their body was taken from them without their consent. Should um, a parent have a right to decide this operation for their child? America is the only developed country where this procedure is considered routine. If the procedure is mostly performed for cultural conformity, then shouldn't the norm be changed to, to intact? America has a high rate of HIV from a developed nation, so it doesn't appear to have any medical benefits. Um, do you support laws like they pro uh, proposed in San Francisco to ban the procedure, um, the UK almost no one has the operation done. Thanks. Interesting. UK almost nobody. That's weird, dude. That's weird, dude. I thought all dicks looked the same. I don't even know what a normal looking dick looks like. That's weird. Um, okay. So, topic of search and precision. Do you feel that people are robbed of sensory pleasures when this procedure is performed on babies? I heard that when I was in college, some chick in one of my education classes started suddenly mentioning that, like, I read that guys who aren't circumcised have more s s pleasure. Um, so I guess that's what the scientists say, that dudes who are not circumcised have more pleasure. I know that that part of my dick, the part that they chopped off that I still have a little bit left, is really sensitive. It's kind of like, uh, it's like an orgasm touching it. So yeah, dude, it goes along with it, man. Super. I think, yeah, you're totally raw. But not, not orgasm, but the other, like the other tickle or whatever. Fuck yeah, you're robbed. I'm sure that sexual relations with that is better. Because uh, if God put it there, right? Put it there for a reason, I'm sure. Lord God put it there to make sex better. Because it does make your dick a little bit um, nastier if you don't, I guess, fold that back and clean it and stuff. Um, okay. Is it because he has had wealth and privilege and has been in the spotlight with the Kardashian TV show that has... Oh, wait. I'm, I just went... I just got sidetracked and went to the other, other request. I was just thinking, I got sidetracked because I was thinking like, because I don't know what it's like to be circumcised, like, uncircumcised guys, like, can they pee? Or do they have to like pull it back to pee? Weird. I need to go YouTube non-circumcised dicks after this video. Anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, so people, people can't know what they're missing if this party was taken away from them without their consent. Should a parent have the right to decide this operation for their child? I don't think so. I think they should ban it. Um, because there's no reason for it. It's just a it's just a traditional thing, and it doesn't. It's not a health thing. It used to be thought of as a health thing, but it's not. I mean, it would only be a health thing if you're if you never shower. You know. Um, okay, America is the only developed country where this procedure is considered routine. If the procedure is mostly performed for culture conformity, then shouldn't the norm be changed to intact? Yes. America has a high rate of HIV for a developed nation, so doesn't it appear to have any medical benefits? Um, do you support laws? That, yeah, I do support the laws. They should ban it. Um, yeah, it's weird how we hold on to these old um, traditions. The original invention of circumcision, I think, is from the Old Testament. Um, it was to... Um, it was like a power trip thing. I can't remember who it was, but one of those leaders in the old, in the early days, like maybe even before or during the capture in, in, in Egypt or something, had all the guys circumcised to show that they were Jews so that they all knew who was a Jew was, basically. It was like a mark of the beast type of thing. It was an identity thing, if I remember correctly. And... Um, 
you know, and, and also it was like a power trip thing. I saw, I, re I rented a movie, The Red Tent, starring Rebecca Ferguson. Woo! Rebecca Ferguson. Uh, she's super fine. She was in that, she starred as like some, as uh, jo Joseph's sister. I guess Joseph had a sister. And uh, she married the king of some um, kingdom that the Jews were living in. And they didn't like that, that she was marrying a non-Jew. So they were going to, so they, they said that all the guys in the kingdom had to circumcise, to get circumcised to prove their loyalty to the Jews. And they were like, okay, we'll circumcise. Wow. But they didn't, in the movie, they didn't get a chance to because they killed him anyway. I don't know how much of that was, was real. but um, So yeah, it's kind of like a power trip thing. Um... Yeah, it's weird to think about that because how we still have these old uh, traditions that we never even question and we just keep doing them. You know, like I heard like oral sex is illegal in 13 states still because they haven't bothered to get them off the, his, the, the books, you know. It's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so I guess that means I wish I were uncircumcised. But it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so that's that. Peace out.